here with Ice Ice Ice. Something 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 about you changed. Um, do you? Hmm. Do you know, what's what's different about you? My eyebrows. Your eyebrows. What what's with the eyebrows? It's supposed to be the same color as my hair, but they misdyed it. I don't think you need to dye your air, eyebrows when you dye your hair, though. I don't know. The guy wanted to. I'm like, okay, sure. Okay. Yeah. And and you just did it because you were bored. Yes. Okay. It's a good reason. I mean, you know, it's it's okay. I'm like it's not bad. It's okay. It's yeah. pretty nice to touch. It's like a. It's pretty nice. You guys have our or what? Uh, this is your first tournament when you, with this hair. Yeah. So you guys haven't lost any tour undefeated in tournaments so far, with the new hair. Right now, but we we did lose a game against Secret. So yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. And you guys put an end to their undefeated streak. Yeah, was but it easy? Uh, no, it wasn't easy. They are really good, and it could have went either way. Mm. Yeah. Okay, but you guys did it. Yeah, that's nice. And the uh, the 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 commentators were yelling DG, DG. Why? Remember that at the end of the game? Wasn't it the whole the, crowd and the, yeah, com yeah, the, the crowd commentators was, were doing it? They were doing it. Yeah. I guess. A little weird. I guess it's because you're Chinese. Yeah. Yeah. They 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 like you guys. Um, there's some rumors about you guys maybe changing black. Is yeah. that true? It is true. You you guys are gonna switch? No, he's but you're been not. performing well. There's no reason to if. Uh, I gotta put in a word. I, I think you guys should keep him. I mean, I, I know that my advice to you is very important. You know, I know you were thinking like, what does Hotbit think about this situation? So now, I, now I'm saying I think you guys should keep black. Why? Huh? Why? He's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. Yeah, yeah. It's a good enough reason, right? Well, it's up to him. Like the his performance is gonna more or less decide everything. I think. I mean, he's been playing really well though. There's uh, no doubt. He's uh, he lost that rapier though. Ah, uh, that's fine. Even like uh, we were we were all wondering where that rapier went. We, we mm -hmm. thought the IO we thought IO took it, and in the end, it was just sitting there and yeah. Okay. Um, Vici, uh, one of the more consistent performers since TI. You guys, you know, you guys. Didn't win TI, but placed extremely high, and then I was you guys, DK. huh? I was in DK. <laughs> I mean, Vici in general, okay? Uh, okay. Because newbie, they did very poorly, but Vici continued playing well. Why? What? What? What do you think the difference is? Well, newbie won TI. <laughs> yeah, and then they they won a lot of money, and now they they don't really have the drive. I mean, that's normally what happens to teams after TI. Mm -hmm. They win. A lot, a lot of money, enough to last them for maybe a really long time. I mean, winning one TI, especially TI4, mm -hmm. was like winning TI1 and 2 and 3 and like another TI1 and 2. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you guys, like Vici especially, you know, had this strategy that they, they did in TI4 and then they came out and they, they didn't, it didn't succeed against Newbie and that makes all the difference. But if you won TI, would you still be motivated after? I'll definitely still be motivated and if my teammates aren't showing motivation I would even switch teams because I plan to win two TIs if it's if that's possible. Oh that's in the plan? That's in the plan. Okay. But I, 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 I like have your to win one TI first. I like your ambition. Yeah. <laughs> Already thinking of two. That's Envy said the same thing actually. He did? Yeah, he's like he's like I I wanna be known as the best Dota player ever, so I can't just win one TI anymore. I gotta win two. I don't really want to be known as the best solo player. I want to be known as the best team player. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this team especially is a little different than your previous teams. Obviously, you have a, you have a non-Chinese non player and... Um, I'm a non-Chinese player. Right, but you speak Chinese, you can still communicate yeah, with them. Um, and, you know, there's... Do you think that it's... That, that language thing is, is, is still really important now, now that you've had Black on your team for quite a while? I mean, language is definitely a <coughs> huge barrier between uh, communication in the team. If you actually watch replays throughout uh, ever since Black joined VG, he was always slightly lagging behind, and yes, yeah, been getting better and better. Um, so yeah, it is a uh, something. It's almost impossible to play like perfectly if the the other person isn't fluent in the language that you're using mm -hmm. or the team is using. I mean, I I gave an example I think a few days ago in an interview, like you know, ta 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 ta. You get a difference. I right? know, yeah, 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 yeah. But maybe not to Black. And. Uh, Right now, it seems that uh, Chinese Dota is in a little bit of a changing period. Yeah. Um, there might be more roster changes in the future. Everyone's going to change, I think. Most teams are going to have roster change. Closer and closer to TI these days. 
It happens. <laughs> so who's gonna get the invites? You guys for sure, I think. I think VG. Yeah. Definitely VG eyes is way too awesome. I mean FY FY is really handsome. Super <laughs> is ugly though, but Super is really good. Super is ugly, but he's really okay. Yeah. Alright. Funny and black, yeah, they're nice. Newbie's not gonna get an invite. I think newbie would just get an invite because they are TI4 champions. It's but if you just went on how they did... I know, but it doesn't make sense to not invite a defending... Like, there's no defending champion. How do you defend a title without a defending champion? Yeah, but... Yeah. They, like, they gotta be good. I think if, you know, like, like let's say Alliance didn't do at, good at all in the, the year after day one, maybe they wouldn't have been invited. I'm not sure about that. They're still you know, defending champions. But I get what you mean. I, I don't want to see newbie up there as well at their current form mm -hmm. so maybe if they improve a little bit more and start doing well they don't have to win they just need to do well and act as a team i think they deserve an invite for winning ti4 mm -hmm. and uh you know there's a right now a, a c team is doing very well um rave. rave yeah beat ig and uh you know they a lot of team a lot of people kind of wrote them off didn't think that they were yeah, that I great them off. <laughs> but <laughs> they're probably gonna get i think they're gonna get an invite you know I think they will because uh, it's not because they are good. It's just that there are no good teams in Southeast Asia. Mm, well, that's, that's harsh. A, it's it's true. I, I mean, I, you can be true and harsh. I'm true and harsh. Yeah. That is how you are, yeah. It works. Um, but what I would hope to see for Southeast Asia, I mean, people mistook what I said the other time. Mm -hmm. I would like to see like Southeast Asian teams up there, but I hope that all of them will play in the qualifier because uh, in Southeast Asia, internet... It's actually a huge issue for certain countries, maybe Vietnam or Thailand, I don't know. So it would be really fair if everyone just go to a location, maybe Singapore, Malaysia, and like play it out in the qualifier and have the top two teams go. That, that way it would be fair for everyone. And mm. yeah, Because some teams are really good at LAN when they have no lag, and some teams are just good online. Like well, the real, yeah. yeah, the real the real Dota is played on LAN, right? Yeah. I mean, like you, That's a lot, there's, it, literally you have some abilities that just changes hero completely because there's ping. Yep. Um, so, you know, TI is the real test, I guess. Do you, do, you, uh, do you agree with these kind of formats these days? Like, everyone plays everyone, huge round robin, like, group stages. Do you, do you like that more, or do you like just, like, an elimination tournament? Mm, I definitely prefer the huge round robin, even if it's a best of two. I think best of two is really fair, though it might be a little long. It might get really boring for... Um, like the spectators and <laughs> not a TI dude people oh, the, the more games are better I mean 16 a, a group of 16 best of 2 that's that's best that's the best okay. and yeah, fairest yeah, yeah, format okay, yeah. too much and what else in a way the, the good teams will start to improve and adapt in the tournament because uh, they get to play a lot, a lot of games yeah yeah. there's always a uh, someone, someone said once that uh, TI is always its own little meta yeah and do you think this tournament has its own meta yeah, definitely. I mean, Secret and EG brought out the meta and every team is adapting and trying to, you know, test around it. I mean, uh, the the Koreans brought out Warlock and Navi sort of uh, learned it, but they sort of failed at it. They could have, like uh, yesterday's game. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw. Uh, Fun yeah. Funny just need to go Refresher after Scepter and I think he could yeah, have... Blink. Yeah, they would have won a game if he went Refresher. Brutal. But I think, the oh yeah, regarding the tournament format, it shouldn't be like this tournament, DAC. Because once you know that you are out for sure, you're gonna start screwing around. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And and there's no advantage. There's no big advantage being in the top eight. Like first to eight, there's no advantage. First is gonna play against eight. So everyone's just gonna okay, we are in top eight. It's time to, you know, screw around. Yeah. Okay. Are you uh, you know, I know I asked you this before, but um, I'm lucky. You, hmm. Nothing. Carry on. I was gonna say, uh, are you uh? You one day you wanna you wanna lead a Southeast Asian team to TI, is that is that your? It's not my dream, but it's something that I would look forward to. Yeah. Um, but right now in in China there's a, you know like I don't know if you follow other news, but uh, there's, you know in in other games that Chinese always expect to be the best. They're always very uh, nationalistic when it comes to these kinds of things. Cheering. You know, this crowd is very different than the crowd in TI. This crowd just completely silent when something bad happens for the Chinese team, and then when something good happens, they're like yelling. You know, what's that environment like? Um, it's a nice environment for my team, I guess. Uh, but I mean, 
uh, for the opponents or the Western teams, they can take it as a it's a huge motivation for them. I guess I mean they can play really well and they can win the crowd over. If they, they could do that, then it's a huge boost to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, so th- this TI seems wide open. Mm-hmm. You know what? What did you learn about from you know the time leading up to last year's TI with DK? Because I remember what team you were on. Um, and what's the difference between that and, and now? Like, what, what what did you learn? I actually learned a lot. Um, when I first joined DK, that was my first Chinese team, and I was really lucky to got into DK because uh, you know Mushi, Lanem, Burning, and MMI to a lesser extent. But yeah. Um, I mean, MMI is a nice guy. Don't get me wrong. He's just. Really <coughs> uh, I actually learned a lot from them. Like uh, I learned a lot of commanding stuff from MMI and even seventy one as a coach. Um, like Mushi and Bernie helped me a lot in the lane, and MMI sort of uh, gave me a lot of food, which was nice. Throughout gave the you year. a lot of food, okay? Yeah. Because he has a fan girls buying him food. Like he just you know in China they like to deliver and send packages, especially food. So yeah, there's a lot of fangos sending him food and Whoa, wh- yeah. that's the life. I want that. That that that's really awesome. So it's like yeah, lots of food. I I think because of them that uh, I'm actually a better player today. Like without them, I'm just gonna be like a player. I'm not gonna be a leader because I'm sort of learning and becoming a leader in game, making shots and everything, making calls. But last year I was like listening to Lanem, just like okay. And uh, now that you have time to reflect back on that whole situation, you know, like DK looking invincible for quite a while, and then, you know, TI, obviously, fourth is good for a lot of teams, but obviously not where you guys wanted to end up. What, what, what's the reason? Like, what happened last year? I think pressure got to them, pressure and stress. I think it's really, it's really dumb of them to ha- let the, the pressure and stress get to them, especially when they said they, are gonna, like, they were going to retire, and then now they are back. So... That was really dumb. When why why would they have the stress and like the stress and pressure of, you know, this is my last tournament. I have to win it when they are just playing a tournament now. Why kicking. why why do you have to say that though? Why why did they have to say they're gonna retire? Why not play until you're forty? Who knows? I guess it's different for them because uh, to the Chinese players, retiring means not being a pro team. Mm. Like a uh, big one now. Even though they are playing the tournament, they aren't really practicing twenty four seven. They aren't staying together in the team house. They are all back at their hometowns and when they need to gather for a tournament or uh, have a boot camp, they start, you know, gathering. It's like how the American team teams works, right? Yeah. And uh, so I guess just retire means, you know, you're not you're practicing not be, at yeah, 12 yeah. hours a day. You're yeah. not going to be staying together. You're not going to be practicing every single day. You're going to be out gambling or whatever. I don't know. And Big God's doing well. Yeah, they are. So do you think that there's something to be said about maybe that system of 14 hours a day practicing Dota all constantly is... Maybe not mm, as good as people say. I think it's a really good system if you know how to take it easy. At a PI pre TI forty K, they didn't really know what is like they didn't they didn't, they didn't really know how to rest. They were just playing and playing and playing. It was really tough. And that uh, just the classic too much practice. Yep. And one of the huge reasons for the success of Bigot, I think it's because of uh Xiao Pa, Xiao It. He's a really good player. Like uh, more or less China's uh, best player in terms of Drafting and commanding, I guess. I mean, look at newbie. He left, and newbie just. Yeah. You always right. need a leader in a in a team. Yeah, that that's the hardest position to find too. Yeah, it's re- it's really hard to find a leader. Mm-hmm. And then you gotta hi- find people that trust him. It's also hard sometimes. It's not hard actually. I mean, everyone should trust each other in a game. I mean, if there's trust issues, that that means something is wrong with your team. Like, look at IG. I'm pretty sure they have no trust among each other. That team's probably splitting up, though. We're going to see some new players. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 100%. Okay. Um, Ice, you know, th- this interview a little more serious than the usual ones we do, but, you know, it's time. Uh, it's time. This is business time. Okay. Because, you know, we're, we're getting close to TI. Four or five more months, and then, you know, business time. Yep, business time. Um, is this, is it, is it, is it first or bust for you this time? First place TI or, or, or disappointment? I'm going to say what everyone is going to say. I'm going to do my best for TI. But really, it's first place or not? Uh, either it's first place or... I mean, nothing else matters. Only first place matters to me. I mean, I've gotten third. Third, third for TI1. I think it was fourth. 
or fifth. Wait, fourth for TI4. I did DK. Mm -hmm. And I got in fifth and sixth place. Yeah, so I would like to get a first. Maybe I'll join Cena and get a second. <laughs> right, okay. Then I'll have a second. Are they looking for an offlaner? Maybe they should. Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, shots fired. I mean, Bone 7 hasn't been playing well. But he, oh, he played well today. Yeah. He's a uh, They're doing good today, yeah, but that, good. if they beat Secret, then. This is the, that would uh, be impressive. This is, this, is, this is the match everyone's really looking forward to. So, yeah, uh, me too. Yeah. All right. Um, thank you very much for the interview. Do you, do you have anyone, anyone you want to talk? Shout, do shout outs for? Shout out, I guess I have to thank my sponsors um, Kian War, <laughs> Homal TV, and I actually can't. I'm going to go ahead and just say that most of our audience probably doesn't. It doesn't matter. It's, yeah. it's just for, you know, yeah. just in case I'm yeah. going to get scolded and shit like that. Okay. Oh, Hy HyperX. HyperX. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, HyperX. I got one of those HyperX. headsets. Yeah. yeah, the headsets. I haven't tried it at all, but apparently it's good. Yeah. It is. I, I hope, I I hope it's good. If, if it's bad, I'll be using my own headsets. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you have any call outs? Call outs. Shout out to Targa, I guess. Targa. What? Targa. Targa? The StarCraft player? Yeah. Oh, what about him? I like him. Oh, we no, Starcraft call player. out. Call out. Like the opposite of a shout out. Oh. Yeah, I was like, what's, what did Targa ever do? I mean, like someone you want to, you know. Beat up? Throw some shade on. Do you know that expression? Yeah. You do? Okay. Mm, Zai? Zai? Yeah. Why? What's wrong with Zai? Because I'm the best offlaner, not oh, you. Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. All right. So we'll, we'll, maybe we'll get to see that And, and Poopy. On. Poopy? What's wrong with Poopy? Poopy doesn't wash his pants. What? He doesn't wash his pants? Yeah. Oh, okay. You I don't know, know why. Poopy, how right? do you know that? Because uh, ever since day one, he's been wearing the same pants. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you.